Hey there, Tim O'Donoghue with Relationships to our Counseling and Coaching Center. I want to talk to you today about the value of loving kindness. Now, what is loving kindness? Loving kindness is the idea of being focused each and every day on surrounding ourselves with love and acting in ways of love and kindness. Now, it sounds pie in the sky, sounds great, easier said than done. However, if you take it step by step and focus on it, you're mindful of it each morning you wake up to create a mantra for yourself today. You know, it can be your words, make it what works for you, but some variation of today, I will surround myself with love and kindness. I will bring love and kindness to all that I interact with today. Now, how this is powerful is it will completely change your mood. Those angry interactions you might have, you're driving to work and you're late and somebody's in front of you and you're, you're getting angry at them and you're beeping at them and the blood pressure is rising in you. Sometimes there's a piece of that that, believe it or not, feels good to that person. Um, you know, we, we can all stand back from it and say, no, we don't want to do that. But any behavior that we repeat, we're getting some sort of reward from it. But to be conscious and step back from that and say, okay, this might feel okay for the moment, but overall, when I feel an accepting energy, when I view all human beings as vulnerable, imperfect, yet beautiful creatures on this planet, I can look at it with more love and kindness. And when we talk about love and kindness, we have to start with ourselves. So we are all lovable. If you don't believe this, then you need to work with somebody, you know, at Relationship Store Counseling and Coaching Center. We have individual couples counseling. Come in, talk to a counselor. If you've never tried it before, try it out. I guarantee you it's going to have a positive effect on you and you can learn to love yourself because you are lovable. Uh, so starting with that and being kind to yourself, and that means taking care of yourself, you know, whether it's the food you eat, whether it's getting enough sleep, um, the things you do. You know, make sure you're taking care of yourself and being loving and kind as step one. And then step two, to be conscious of giving that to all you interact with each day. Now, that doesn't mean don't have in your mind that, okay, if I'm loving and kind to everyone in my life, then everyone's going to be loving and kind back to me. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. It will change overall, but it will also allow you to see that when someone is not loving and kind towards you, that that is more about something that they are going through, which you may or may not probably not be able to help in that moment. So you can have compassion and empathy for that person as opposed to taking it personally or feeling anger towards them, that they are having a difficult moment. So love and kindness, it's a beautiful thing. Try it each day. And even if this sounds a little, uh, you know, fluffy to you, um, I suggest you try it because it will change your mood and you'll be happy and the people who love you around you will be happier too, guaranteed. So any questions, feel free to email me, T-O-Donahue, T-O-D-O-N-O-H-U-E, at relationshipstore.org, or call me, 630-974-6777 is our number. Uh, we are located at 241 South Frontage Road, Suite 36 in Burr Ridge. Thank you.